hi guys welcome back to my channel is debbie in the building as always if you're new to my channel you're highly welcome um deborah a mom and a wife a nigerian based here in italy yeah so if you are new to this channel and if you're seeing this beautiful face of mine for the first time don't fail to hit the subscribe button and if you're my old returning subscriber you're highly welcome thank you so much for coming stay tuned and please stay to the end of the video yes i just finished filming a video and i want to quickly start another video um this one will be i would like to call it a vlog yeah somehow a vlog yeah um in this vlog i'll just be showing you guys um clips of what actually happened to me all this while i went away guys it was just a very tough time in my life you know and it's as if everything just happened at the same time you know <laughs> the challenges just came at the same time everything just came at the same time yeah all those while i'm away from youtube has not been easy it has not been easy guys it has been really rough for me and my family yeah i decided to go off from youtube because youtube refused to monetize my channel so many things just started happening at first my son fell ill yeah and we admitted in the hospital which i'll be showing you guys um the clips of how we ended up in the hospital yeah and the worst part of everything we ended up in the hospital on his birthday yeah the day that is supposed to be his birthday after booking cake buying clothes you know just planning on after all my plans you know on how to celebrate his birthday that day we ended up in the hospital guys so i'll be showing you guys the clips you know of how he ended up in the hospital we ended up in the hospital what really happened and all that after that as if that wasn't enough um when he recovered i also fell ill myself yeah but one good thing i've realized so far in my life and in life generally which i know most of you must have experienced it also you know when challenges come up like this you know when you start judging from the beginning it seems it will end it seems as in um there will not be there will not be an end to it but one good thing about all these challenges is in every challenge in every challenge you face in life there is a blessing attached to it yeah there is always a blessing attached to it so i want you all to know that whenever you're facing any challenge in life or whenever you're passing through um any difficult moment or difficulty in your life just know that there is a blessing attached to that um difficulty or challenge that you're passing through yeah so just have faith and hold on you know be strong and know that at the end of everything um you will still have a great testimony to share you will still have be grateful to god for that um challenge or that difficult um situation one good thing about all these challenges all these challenges that i faced and passed through this period is that it ended in praise yeah i'm so grateful to god that everything happened and i'm alive today my family is whole and hearty and we are grateful to god for his blessing yeah because everything ended in praise yeah and without talking too much i'll just show you guys some clips so you will know um what i really uh, passed through this period yeah so stay tuned and enjoy the video all right all right all right Okay, okay. Oh, guys, it has not been easy. My son has been seriously sick for the past five days now. And today is his birthday, guys. We'll see where we are. We rushed him to the hospital to today, this morning. He was just shaking. As in after, after vomiting, he started shaking as in jerking. So we have to rush him to the hospital. And since then, he's been vomiting. Anything you just put in his mouth, he'll vomit it. It has not been easy, guys. Just check out those bad days today. Devil is a bastard, you know. And now, they've tested him for everything. They said they couldn't find anything. I don't understand. 
and because he has um, fever and his fever has been above um, 39 the highest is 39.5 almost 40 yeah that is it guys he have been having high fever very high fever guys oh, it has not been easy and now because of this they say they will be testing us <laughs> with the parents they will be testing us for coronavirus also <sighs> by monday so we are admitted here we are admitted here we'll be sleeping here till further notice he gets better he's so weak very very weak <laughs> I just pity him honestly because trying to get this his vein has been something else. Trying to get the vein, he's been crying all day, you know, because his veins are not visible. So they really tried, you know. Oh my god, stop! Sorry, 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 sorry. No, 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 no. They really tried, you know, trying to um get his vein. Thereby <laughs> using needle to scatter his hands and his body where they are looking for the vein. Oh my god, guys, this is my life. <laughs> it has not been easy. This is why one of the reasons why I stayed off waiting for now. So guys, this is it though. This is it. This is why we could we couldn't celebrate his birthday. We've already booked for his cake. Even the cake is ready. He, the cake, his cake came in this morning. But look at where we landed. <laughs> the cake is just there. <laughs> Devil is a liar. Devil is a bastard. You see this one? This one is, is a swan blessing. Untouchable. So devil, hmm? you're wasting your time. Because I know my God is in control. I know everything is turning around for our good. So, guys, this is just me updating you guys, you know, just for you to see what is happening. We are here till um, further notice, he gets better. Yeah, mm. so happy, guys. <laughs> um his test just came out the the one they did for COVID nineteen. It just came out and it came out negative, guys. <laughs> I'm so happy because because of <laughs> this test, they ordered us not to leave the hospital. And you need to see the way they were the nurses were just treating us. <laughs> I'm telling you, as if we we have one disease like that. If they want to talk to us, they will be hundred miles away, you know. But now the test came out negative, guys. Oh my god. <laughs> They are now coming close, you know. They are now free to come close to us and talk to us. Guys, it has not been easy. He finished um the first drip and they still gave him the second drip. This is it. This is the second drip, guys. This is the second drip they gave him. But right now, they went to um do echography. They want to check his tummy because they said they couldn't find anything since the um COVID-19 is negative came out negative so they couldn't find anything they said there's nothing wrong with him all the tests they carried out came out negative so the doctor is suggesting maybe it's because he's teaching guys i don't just understand honestly see my eyes see the way i'm looking guys since morning we've been in the hospital and he woke up and started crying he wanted to use his hand and pull out the the drip he was just screaming <laughs> I just have to, you know, carry him, you know. So sometimes I'll just carry him, use one hand and carry him, then use one hand and be moving the the drip, you know. This is what it looks like. They stand. I'll just use one hand and be moving it and then carry him will be walking around. You know, it has not been easy guys. <laughs> right now my husband took took him to where they are doing the echographia. After the echographia, they want to check his stomach to see if there is anything there so once they come back he'll continue with the the drip probably he'll finish drinking the drip by tomorrow yeah hopefully so we'll just pray we'll, they will discharge us tomorrow because guys i'm already tired <laughs> i haven't slept you know and now they said only one person will sleep in the hospital so i'll 
be sleeping with him. My husband will be going back home. Um, be coming back by tomorrow. So folks cannot sleep in the hospital. So, so guys, we are sleeping over. So I just <laughs> said, let me use this opportunity and update you guys. You know, for you guys to to just be updated hmm, with what is going on, what is happening in my life so far. Hmm? It has not been easy, guys. Today, that is supposed to be my son's birthday. It's well, God is in control. I believe so. So, guys, so, guys, this is it. This is what we are passing through at the moment. There are so many, so many challenges here and there this time around. But you know what? We are victorious. We are victorious. Yes, we are victorious. Glory be to God who has given us victory. I know that I'm victorious. Um, This is just a phase. It will pass and we will bounce back healthy and hearty to the glory of God. Anyway, go. My son over there. So guys, this is the food. <laughs> this is the afternoon food they brought for us. Although it's the second day. This is it. This one is puri. I don't know. Maybe this one is for my baby also. <laughs> I don't know what this one is, guys. This is what it looks like. I don't know. I think one is <laughs> one is for my baby, one is for me. And this one is fruit. Mixed fruit for babies too. This one is um, meat, polar. Polar means chicken. So, this is how it came. Over here is the morning food. Tea and um, biscuit. I didn't eat it. <laughs> uh, since we are here, I've not even been eating their food. So, but, because I don't understand. Even this one, I will not eat it. But uh, since this one is puri, I might try and give it to my baby. Thank you. This one is potato puri. I will try giving it to him. Right now, he's sleeping. Once you wake up, so this one is cup and then spoons and so it. How they packet it. This one is sugar. Sugar. I know that. I don't know what this one is. Okay, this one is oil. This one is olive oil. In case if you want to put it in the food, can you say that? Then it came with this. This paper. I don't know what is in, is written on it. Like, so, then we have water also over there. Can you see yourself? I pray they discharge us honestly today. They came this morning and um, took um, a blood sample. They also pierced his body this morning to take blood sample. They want to run another test. Guys, I need to see how my baby was just crying. I, I pitied him today. I I wish there is how they can take my own blood, you know. And it will be the same. This boy have really suffered. He really suffered, honestly. This is how they were just uh, scattering his body where they are looking for me to take the blood sample. It has not been easy, honestly. I just pity him. He cried all through the morning. After crying, that is when he now slept. <sighs> I just pray they discharge us today. Honestly. He took four bottles of drip. Let me show you guys. This is it. This bottle, he took four of it. The injection they've been also putting in the drip and the ones they were just giving him through that place they they put the drip and still since we came they've been giving us food though just that i don't like their food <laughs> i don't understand the food honestly i don't understand even the combination i don't understand that the way they prepared it so man i've not been eating their food anyways Obi have been I'm buying um, some snacks for me to eat. <laughs> oh my god, guys. This is my life right now.
see how rough my face is since i came i've not had proper bath you know just to clean up you know you know hospital things now i really need to go home i just pray the discharge also today <sighs> so guys that is me once again keeping you guys updated i think they'll be discharging us today once the result is out now they'll discharge us today hopefully so finger cross finger cross the discharge us today Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to summer. Happy birthday to you. Hip hip hip. Hooray! Summer is one today. Hello. Hello.